Do you, or anyone you know, do this? Who put the block there? Are you tired of falling off bridges? Why are you bullying me? Has your game almost ended by the time you finished bridging? Six and a half hours later. What are you doing? What was that? Would you rather be bridging like this? Or this? Hey, what's up guys? My name's Rex and Zed, and one of the most popular questions I get while playing Cake Wars is how do I speed bridge? So let's go over some of the basics of bridging, and then I'll teach you a few more tips and tricks. A couple of side notes is this won't work on Java, this only works on Bedrock, and it also doesn't work on Pocket Edition, unless you're able to hold down the build button. So the first one's quite easy. This is the one that I started learning on, and I try to perfect this before moving on to anything more advanced. So all you do is you count two blocks back from the edge, place one block down on the third one, step on top of it, look at the ground in front of you, hold down the build button and walk forward. So what's gonna happen here is you're gonna be able to place two blocks down on the ground in front of you, and it's gonna start chaining into a bridge. Now, as you're doing this, you need to pull your cursor all the way to your feet. Another thing to add is also make sure your cursor is still in front of the block. If you go off to the side, it's going to make you fall off. So before we get into the really advanced bridging, I just want to go through doing the block by block placing for the pocket edition. Now this one's fairly simple. All you have to do is stand on top of a block. You have a black outline around the block you're standing on. And this is basically indicating that you are standing on that block and it's going to allow you to build off of it. So from here, all you got to do is place down a block in front of you, walk forward and continue doing that one by one. Now for the advanced bridging. It's very easy to do and as long as you follow these steps and practice, you'll get it down really quickly. So head to the edge of the platform that you want to build from and all you have to do from there is the same premise as before with placing the block down in front of you with the black square highlighted underneath you. But this time you flick your cursor all the way to your feet as you do it and walk forward just slightly. It's all about holding down the build button and flicking that cursor all the way to your feet. That's the two most important thing. The next one would be walking forward. If you follow that sequence directly, you will start doing the same type of bridging and you can eventually get to the point where you can start sprinting, jumping, going backwards, doing 360s if you want to. As long as you're holding down that build button and you've got that chain locked, you can basically look in any direction you want to. You can look up, you can look to your sides. The game's gonna remember that you still have that chain locked in as long as you're holding down that build button. So the last thing that I want to teach you guys is something that you don't see too often and that's building stairs on a decline. So taking what we just learned in mind with the bridging, it's gonna be kind of similar to that. The only difference is, is you have to delay the walking forward part. So to do this, all you need to do is place down a block in front of you while holding down the build button and then snap the cursor to your feet again. But this time, don't walk forward. If you've done this correctly, nothing will happen. But then try walking forward over the block that you've just placed down and all of a sudden your character tries to place another block. So just to go over that one more time, place down a block in front of you holding down the build button and quickly snap the cursor to your feet. Then take a step forward and you should see that your character tries to build something. And again, you don't see it, but it is underneath the block that you've just placed. There's not too many situations where this will come in handy, but it is good to know something that's a little bit different. And hopefully these bridging tips and tricks have helped you guys. I know a lot of you probably already know this stuff, but this is for people that don't know and also an easy way for people to learn when they ask me in game. I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you guys have an awesome day and we'll see you next time.